A beautiful, slightly secluded location in London's Hyde Park. Site for a memorial commemorating the 52 victims of the four explosions on London's transport network in 2005. 52 individually built stainless steel columns, each representing a victim of the attacks and each three and a half metres tall. The formal opening was today, a time to remember, a time to reflect and a time to try to explain. We will never forget this affront to our self-confident, tolerant and diverse city, or their lives, or those they leave behind. This is their place, but it is ours too. Every day from today, you, their families, will know that you have this symbol of your love and your loss. But every day too, strangers to you will come here also to reflect and to remember. A moving speech too from the Prince of Wales, Prince Charles. Everyone has their own way of responding to trauma, grief, injury and bereavement. But I do pray that all those touched by violence everywhere will eventually find peace again. Above all, I pray they will gain comfort and strength from coming together to honor the memories of those taken from us. And in so doing, commit ourselves to eliminating the circumstances that caused the violence in the first place. I never failed to be amazed by the resilience and fortitude of the British people. And it was this indomitable spirit, together with the commitment, compassion and sheer doggedness of the emergency services, which got us through that day and the days and weeks to come. A solemn event a touching, emotive ceremony, and now a permanent reminder in the heart of London. Rachel Chunku Yen, Benedetta Chiasia, Liz Datlin, Jonathan Downey, Richard Ellery, Anthony Patai Williams.